In this video, we're going to talk about the process to churn your compost, and as well as check your compost for ideal decomposition. Before you churn your compost, it's always good to check the temperature with a machete or a compost thermometer. When we're turning our compost, we want to take the material from the outside of our first pile and place it into the inside of our new pile. When you're turning your compost, it's important to check for humidity. Grab a handful of compost and squeeze it, and ideally you should only have a few drops come out, similar to like a wet sponge. If the compost is too wet, turn the compost, but don't add any water, and also leave the compost uncovered so that it can dry. If your compost has a bad odor, when you're turning it, do not add water and leave the pile uncovered so that it can dry. If your compost is not decomposing, then add material that's high in nitrogen, like manure or green leaves. When you're turning your compost pile, it's common to see two types of molds, a white mold and a gray mold. They are both beneficial and help with the decomposition of your compost. The trapezoid is the best form for your compost pile. It allows a flat surface to add more material, but it also has less surface area, which maintains the compost pile moist. Once you have turned your compost pile, it's important to cover it with either a tarp or dried palm leaves so that it, you can maintain the humidity, which will help promote the decomposition. Every time you're gonna make a compost pile, it's always good to find a location that has poor soil so that you can improve it. The process of turning the compost will incorporate small amounts of compost, organic material, and fertility into your compost, improving it so that you can plant into it once you're done with the composting process.